The Lagos State Health Commissioner Akia Bayomi announced that the state government has authorized seven private laboratories as COVID-19 testing centers. The commissioner who spoke at a briefing in Lagos on Friday said the decision was taken to ramp up COVID-19 testing in the state. He noted that seven local government areas including Etiosa, Alimosho, Koshofe, Ikeja, Oshodi, Surulere and Lagos mainland have the highest number of infections in the state. In a bid to ramp up its testing capacity, Lagos State Government has taken a strategic decision to include private laboratories in the testing of COVID-19. The testing facilities are the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, the Lagos State Biobank, Nigerian Institute of Medical Research, and the Center Public Health Laboratory in Yaba. And the private facilities include Total Medical Services, SINLAB, 54 Gin, Medbury Medical Service, Biologics Medical Service, O2 Medical Services, and Cleaner Lancet Laboratories. The Commissioner said they have all passed their validations and they have been accredited. He advised Lagosians to observe all preventive protocols, including the use of face masks, social distancing, and regular washing of their hands. Joining us live is Olumide Fadipe, who is the Chairman of the Association of Medical Lab Scientists of Nigeria, to take a look at this conversation. Good afternoon, Mr. Fadipe. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. How with these new testing centers is the burden of the state government, in your opinion? Well, first and foremost, I would like to commend the state government for that initiative. No doubt about that, it will ease the burden on the state government, as well as, you know, on the part of the Lagos citizens as well. Because um, in the past, we've been having complaints from so many people who are interested in running COVID-19, you know, tests, but with so many bottlenecks. When we inform them, me being a, a private practitioner, for instance, I do have a lot of patients that walk into my facility that they want to carry out a um, test on COVID-19. And all we do is, you know, direct them to the appropriate, you know, centers. We try to educate them on the various protocols and procedure of going about that. But most of them complain, that, most of them complain a lot that that protocol, the procedure, you know, is so strenuous, you know, a lot of complaints. And then we, you know, taking a costly look at your procedure, we understand, you know, a lot of logistics problem, you know, that result in, you know, um, lack of um, ready accessibility to all these testing centers. But with this one, it's a very, very laudable initiative on the part of the government. I haven't said that. Um, the two ways it will help us is number one, it will improve the turnaround time, you know, of uh, COVID-19 testing. Then again, it will reduce the burden on the med lab scientists and other laboratory staff that uh, are responsible for carrying out this test. For instance, uh, instead of running, instead of uh, a, a single med lab scientist running up to 50 tests, it might be reduced by the time other, you know, private facilities come on board. Mm -hmm. So it will improve the turnaround time and as well as uh, easing the burden of the laboratory professional. All right, talking um, about... Then I have said that... Talking about private uh, centers, is pricing not as another... Well, I, we want to have advice. We want, we want to strongly advise and appeal to the state governments to make sure that due process is actually followed. Uh, we know uh, health is on the concurrent list. Yes, we know. The state is responsible for approving as well as uh, regulating health practice, but as well, the federal, you know, uh, government too has a role to play in that. And I'm talking about Medical Laboratory Science Council of Nigeria, MLSCA. They really have a great role to play in this. So we we advocate that there should be a, 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 a cooperation, you know, the Lagos State Ministry of Health should work in sync 
with the Medical Laboratory Science Council of Nigeria. Because All the, right, the, Doctor, the, the if I may of... interject you, can you hear me? Let's talk about the yes. private centers. You mentioned that in the conversation. Is pricing yeah. uh, not another concern, especially for most of the te test uh, centers, if it's across, across the states, which is free, especially now with the private labs? How can the government regulate pricing? Yes, regulation of pricing can be achieved by, you know, the state government coming to a roundtable meeting with this private um, organization that are coming on board because um, overhead needs to be taken care of. And um, the, the, the way the government can come in is by first identifying the area of need of this private concern that are coming on board. Maybe in the area of um, helping them to source for donor agencies, and then maybe um, they need to help in uh, trying to finance a part of that financial body. You understand? That is, why, that is the area regulation by government can come into effective play. Yeah. All right, on the issue of confidentiality, a lot of people have uh, issues um, when it comes to do with their privacy. Uh, confidentiality of the patient, do you think that private labs can ensure that, especially since they can readily you know, send test results on the spot? Well, I think this, is the least, this should be the least of our, of, of our worry. I want to believe the, the, the professionals that want to man these private facilities. They are qualified med lab scientists. And I want to believe uh, there is no medical qualified and certified medical laboratory scientist that we want to joke with the issue of confidentiality. Because even right from our year one, during orientation period, this has been happened upon us time and time again. So every professional body or association or, or any professional knows that issue of confidentiality is part of his own ethical, you know, standard and procedure. And it's something you don't want to joke with. You joke with it, you have dire consequences to face. Mm -hmm. So it's not something to worry about. Once it is qualified med lab scientist certified by Medical Laboratory Science Council of Nigeria, that will be in charge of all these testing procedures confidentiality is guaranteed, I can assure you. All right. Now that uh, Lagos is setting the pace, if you like, you know, by increasing their testing uh, centers and capacity, should we expect that other states in the country would also do the same, especially as we fight this battle of COVID-19? Definitely, as demands arises, they may want to toe this line. Lagos State is, you know, actually, you know, blazing the trail for a very particular reason. By ways of uh, the, the population density of Lagos, you understand? And then Lagos being the NIDUS or the epicenter of this coronavirus, it is obvious the demand is actually overwhelming the supply. Mm. That is why the Lagos state government has decided to reason out of the, blob, uh, out of the box by making sure the private sector is properly engaged. You know, they want to leverage, they, they want to deploy the efficiency that is often touted, you know, about private sector. Right. And I'm sure this will actually work if proper procedure of regulation and accreditation is followed. All right. Thank you so very much, Olumide Fadikpe, for your thoughts there. And do stay safe out there, too. Thank you. You, too. All right.